The epiphysis is the rounded end of a long bone at its joint with adjacent bone. Between the epiphysis and diaphysis lies the metaphysis, including the epiphyseal plate. At the joint, the epiphysis is covered with articular cartilage. Below that covering is a zone similar to the epiphyseal plate, known as subchondral bone. The epiphysis is filled with red bone marrow, which produces erythrocytes. Types There are four types of epiphysis. Pressure epiphysis The region of the long bone that forms the joint is a pressure epiphysis. Pressure epiphyses assist in transmitting the weight of the human body and the regions of the bone that are under pressure during movement or locomotion. Another example of a pressure epiphysis is the head of the humerus which is part of the shoulder complex. Traction epiphysis. The regions of the long bone which are non-articular I. E. Not involved in joint formation. Unlike pressure epiphyses, these regions do not assist in weight transmission. However, the proximity to the pressure epiphysis region means that the supporting ligaments and tendons attach to these areas of the bone. Traction epiphyses ossify later than pressure epiphyses. Examples of traction epiphyses are tubercles of the humerus and trochanters of the femur. Atavistic epiphysis. These types of fused bones are called atavistic, e.g., the coracoid process of the scapula, which has been fused in humans, but is separate in four-legged animals. Aberrant epiphysis. These epiphyses are deviations from the norm and are not always present. For example, the epiphysis at the head of the first metacarpal bone. Dot. Pathology. Pathologies of the epiphysis include a vascular necrosis and osteochondritis dissecans. OCD involves the subchondral bone. Epiphyseal lesions include chondroblastoma and giant cell tumor. 